exactly. But let's speak to Katie Ghosh, she's from the Electoral Reform Society. Uh, this isn't what Nick Clegg promised, is it? I mean, it was all meant to be reducing in size, reducing in cost, becoming more democratic. I mean, the complete opposite has happened. That's right. And our research shows we could be looking at a thousand peers by the end of this parliament. And then after the next general election, whoever holds the reins of power, we could be looking at a supersized chamber going to as many as 2,000 peers. And all the main parties really are guilty, aren't they, of rewarding big donors. And when you look at Bamford, the boss of JCB, two and a half million pounds he's given to the Tories. James Palumbo, the founder of the Ministry of Sound nightclub, his company has given 600,000 to the Lib Dems. Surprise, surprise, they're getting peerages. I think the problem is, is the House of Lords has really become a, a holding pen for ex-politicians and party donors. We simply believe that in a democracy, the people who make the laws that affect us every day of the week should be elected by us, the British public. And we think that um, this supersized chamber is getting out of hand. You know, it's bursting at the seams, 400 places to sit, 800 peers already. We think that it's a question of when, not if, reform yeah. is going to happen. But on the other hand, <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, it is quite useful because uh, to have people from industry, from different, you know, from business, from nightclub owners, from, you know, pizza, these people are the ones who sort of mm. get the economy going. They provide jobs in this country. And actually, if you look at MPs, a lot of them are career MPs these days. They haven't had a life outside of politics. So we do actually need these lords, don't we? In a way, we need their experience. We need their life skills, which is perhaps lacking in Parliament. I think the point is that you don't lose your independent thought, you don't lose your expertise when you put yourself forward for election. I think it's a bit of a fantasy at the moment that we have a house of experts. Quite a lot of the peers, their expertise is out of date and we so no reason... Been named we just, we just in saw, this list are quite we just saw Robert they? Winston, for example, and no one would say that about him. I mean, he really is at the forefront of thinking about lots of medical issues, for example. Uh, that's absolutely right, but there's no reason why people can't be experts and put themselves forward for election. There's also other ways of bringing expertise into the second chamber, working with outside groups as well. And we simply think in a democracy, it's time to move into the 21st century and have the people who make the laws be elected by but us. But just finally, I mean, someone like Doreen Lawrence, who has uh, had a very difficult life and has been extremely brave and is a huge heroine for people in this country, she possibly wouldn't put herself up for election. Yet, you know, we are very grateful, I think, this morning that she has accepted this because she's a great ambassador for all things that are good in many ways. And we want her there, don't Absolutely. we? Doreen Lawrence is a remarkable public figure and no one could wish anything other than to have her campaigning energy in the House of Lords. But this isn't about individuals, it's about a system which is completely broken. When we're getting to that number of peers, something's got to give. Katie, right. thanks very much Thank indeed. You. And uh, as, Laura, as um, Ranveer alluded to then, Doreen Lawrence will be joining Kate and John at 10 past 8 this morning. Let's talk about accepting her place in the House of Lords. Perhaps you could tell us who you think should be in the House of Lords if you had a choice. Somebody perhaps not already there, somebody who perhaps deserves to be. Let us know. Lord Barbet. Has a ring Quite to it. Nice Has a ring to it. Go, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lord Barbet of Daybreak. Anyway, quarter past six. The headlines this morning. There's